managerial accounting. This chapter we're going to talk about cost volume profit analysis and the behavior of costs. Did you know how costs have different behaviors? And if we understand those behaviors of the costs, then we'll be able to predict our costs uh, much more easily. So to get ready, let's look back as to where we've been. We've been talking about how much does it cost. And when we're talking about it, in the early chapters, we were very interested in how much does it cost to produce a product or a service on a per unit basis. Then we turned and looked at, well, that must be nice, but there must be an easier way to look at our costs and control our costs. And so we looked at activity costing. And activity costing says there's a lot of activities that go into making each product or service. So if I'm able to measure and manage these activities, then I'll be able to do a better job at my product costs. So that's where we've been so far. Now when we look at cost behavior, one of the basic underlying things we've got to think about is the capacity of the organization that is producing the good or the service or providing the activities. And when we talk about capacity, there's three different types. The first one is theoretical capacity. That means if everything was perfect and all the stars were aligned, what you in theory could do. So it's kind of like you sitting there saying, you know, in the next hour I'm going to read a hundred pages of my accounting textbook. Well, in theory and ideally that will happen, but not in your lifetime. The next level is practical capacity. Practical capacity is also known as engineering capacity because this is what the engineers look at as far as what probably could happen if, again, everything was working correctly and all the maintenance was done on the machines, everybody was up to speed, nobody had a cold that day. Um, so engineering capacity or practical capacity is what we strive for, what we aspire to, um, given how life happens. What managers use, though, to estimate cost behaviors is what we call normal capacity. And normal capacity is looking at our activities or costs within the normal range of activity. In other words, what's the lowest level of production and the highest level of production. And within that, what we call relevant range of activity is what we'll be doing to estimate cost behavior or figuring out whether costs have a fixed, mixed, or variable behavior. So stay tuned.